In this video, we'll do a basic example of uh, an annuity that increases once per time unit but is payable monthly. So I'll step off and let you copy it out. So we are told we have a 15-year annuity due, paying $5 at the beginning of each month for the first year, $10 at the beginning of each month for the second year, $15 at the beginning of each month for the third year, etc. So each year, the monthly payment increases by 5 bucks. Nominal rate of interest is 6% compounded monthly, and we'd like the present value. All right, so the time value diagrams here are really useful and important. So here it is. The first year at the beginning of each month, it's 5 bucks. Second year, it's 10 bucks. Third year would be 15 bucks. And finally, by the 15th year, I took 5 times 15 to get 75. So $75 at the beginning of each month, each month. Now, thinking back to the previous video with the formula, knowing the value of x is central. X is the amount of money received during the first year, or the first unit of time, in this case, year. So if I'm getting $5 per month for the first year, I'm getting a total of $60 in that first unit of time before my increase. So I'm getting 60 bucks during the first year, twice 60 during the second year, and up through 15 times 60 during the final 15th year. Okay, so, um, so I've got all the information I think I need from the time value diagram, and I'm just going to remind myself of the formula. Um, I'm after the present value of an increasing annuity due with a payment of X. It's being received, payments are being received 12 times a year. I have 15 years and an unknown interest rate, and here is the formula I'm eventually going to use. So looking at the formula, it's clear that I need to know the value of X. I need to know the annual effective interest rate and the nominal discount rate compounded monthly, all right? So my n is 15. My time value diagram helps me understand that my x is 60. I was told my i12, my nominal interest rate compounded monthly, was 6%. So I first calculate i over here using my standard one year of annual effective interest is the same as 12 months of monthly effective interest. Plug in my monthly stuff, and I get an annual effective interest rate of 6.168%. So I can also calculate my V value quite quickly. I also need my nominal discount rate compounded monthly. So if I discount for one month followed by interest for one month, I should get back to where I started. So there's my conversion formula. I know my I12 over 12 is 0 0.005. And solving, I get my nominal discount rate of 5.97%. So I have all the ingredients I need to, uh, to calculate via the formula. So here is my actual calculation. My X is 60 present value of a $1 payment of an annuity due for 15 payments at 6.168% per period, minus 15 V, 15th, all over nominal discount rate compounded monthly. Uh, those are my calculator values for each individual part, truncated after four decimal places, yielding a present value of $4,107.64.